guys! Today's video is all about how we build our wooden guinea pig cage. It takes a bit of work to build one yourself, but it's also really easy. Since we already built our two previous cages, we've gotten quite fast at building them. This cage took us around 6 hours to build and it's 3 meters long and 1.3 meters wide. That's around 10 feet times 4 feet. The first thing you need to do when planning a cage is to measure out the space where your guinea pig cage is supposed to go. Once you've decided on the size and shape of your cage, you can start buying the supplies. Just a quick note on the shape, our first cage had an L shape, which looked really cool, but it was also a ton of work building it. Rectangular cages are easier to build, especially if you decide on a plexiglass front. You're going to need OSB plates, also known as flake board or sterling board, for the bottom of the cage. You can also use other types of wooden boards, but OSB is really cheap and you're not going to see it once the cage is finished. The guinea pigs also won't come into direct contact with it, so you don't have to worry about them chewing it or anything. The OSB is the base of your cage, so that's going to be the biggest piece on your shopping list. Pond liner. This is going to cover the OSB. Whatever bedding you use, whether that's fleece or shavings, there's always the chance that a bit of pee is going to drip on the base of the cage. The pond liner protects the OSB, so no pee can stay in the wood. It's also going to completely cover the OSB, so it needs to be the same size. Of course, you can also use other materials that are waterproof, such as linoleum. Regular timber boards. I use glued laminated timber. These are going to be the sides of the cage. If you go for a rectangular cage with a plexiglass front, you're going to need three of these boards. Two for the sides of your cage and one for the back. The guinea pigs won't be able to chew these either. Regarding the height of the sides of your cage, that's completely up to you. Our cage is 25 centimeters high, which I think is a great height, as the piggies can't really jump out, but can also look out of the cage if they really try. Plexiglass or acrylic glass? That's the glass for the front. Last time we used U-profiles to hold the glass in place, but this time we glued it in. A few small pieces of dimensional lumber. We used these as a frame for the plexiglass. Since our cage is on the floor, we also put a few of these under the cage so that it can hold my weight so that I can go into the cage to clean it. Depending on the size of your cage and where you want to put it, that's optional. Children's toy color paint or any other kind of paint that's safe for pets and protects the wood. We bought all of the wood we needed and the hardware store cut it into our measurements for free. I don't know if your local store offers that, but it's worth asking as it saves a lot of time. The first thing we did was to apply a few coats of children's toy color to the timber boards and to let them dry. Then we started on the base of the cage. Since it's on the floor, we attached the OSB onto a few pieces of dimensional lumber. We also put a few of them in the middle so that the cage can carry my weight. The pond liner covers the OSB. If possible, try to get all of the wrinkles out of the liner. It's held in place by the sideboards and backboard of the cage. So lay the liner on the base of the cage and attach the backboard to the pond liner covered OSB plate. Then attach the other timber boards to the sides. You can easily cut off the remaining pond liner with scissors once the cage is finished. Here you can see what the cage looks like. We used a piece of dimensional lumber as the base for the plexiglass and the door. The other pieces are attached to the space and then we glued in the plexiglass. And that's it! If you want to add a second level, you basically repeat all of the steps from the first level and then attach the second level onto the first level. You really don't need any fancy tools to build this cage. We only had some sandpaper to even out the wood, a cordless screwdriver and some screws. I hope you found this video helpful and here are some clips of the piggies enjoying their new cage. <laughs> 